Hey guys, Dylan from Noble Records coming at you with another video. Um, a few days ago, I had a killer collection. Um, nuts. So, uh, long story short, been uh, just really trying to buy a lot of stuff for the store. Still trying to keep it stocked. I got so much coming in and going out, it's crazy. But I really want more inventory in the store, so I've been hard after it, trying to find much more collections. And there was a guy I probably wouldn't normally have driven this far, but seemed to have some decent stuff. He said it was like 500 R&B records is what he told me. Uh, he sent me a, some pictures and it looked decent. So I drove like really far, probably an you know, hour and a half uh, to go see this stuff in South Carolina. Got there, really nice guy. He was uh, previously an artist. Uh, he lived in California and he moved here while back and brought all his records with him he said he's been moving them around he just needs to downsize and get rid of some stuff so here i am was stoked to get some of this stuff now i've been really good lately and not keeping too much from the collections i'm buying really i have been very good about it. only keeping like one or two but sometimes none this collection i'm keeping this many so not that much uh, out of 500 records or so, but some good stuff that I've been looking for for a long time. So this one, uh, James Brown, Think, uh, Famous Flames. Uh, this is one I just don't see it very often, and I've been wanting to get my hands on it. Uh, there's so many James Brown releases, so I don't really feel like I need to get all of them. I'm not a super completist, but this is one that I definitely wanted, so I was excited to see that one in here. Uh, Dr. John Babylon. This is one, I don't, I don't know if you guys see it very often, but I really I really hardly ever see this record, and it's really, really good. Um, this one's one of the more expensive ones. If you're gonna buy one online, it's a little bit more pricey. I've been kind of holding out, you know, and listened to it the other day a couple times, and it's really, really good. This one's a heater, okay? I've been wanting this forever. I had a reissue. Um, a good friend of mine's like, if you ever want to sell a reissue, if you ever get an original, some of the reissue, I'd love to have the reissue. Uh, this is one, uh, Gil Scott, her own Pieces of a Man. This is one I've been wanting for a really long time, for years. I've been looking for a first pressing of this. Sure, I could have gone online and got one, but these go for like 100 bucks, So, kind of expensive, but really incredible, incredible record. Funky soul uh, type stuff, but just absolutely phenomenal. The revolution will not be televised. Um, this is another one. Actually, like my first pass through the collection, when I bought it, I didn't realize this was even in there. And I got back to the shop and saw it. Uh, this is uh, Shikara by Fela in the African 70. Uh, this is an original U.S. press, 74, I believe. Um, so, yeah, it's killer. And we're trying to get all the, the Fela records. I freaking love him. Um, another one, this is uh, Herbie Hancock, Headhunters. This is one of my favorite records just ever. Really, really funky. I mean, Herbie Hancock was such a transformative artist. Went from, like, jazz piano to just this funky, prog, just down and dirty Rhodes keyboard. Just, mm, good stuff, man. Um, love this record. Can't say enough good things about it. I have a copy, and it's awesome. But this one's a quad quadraphonic copy i do have a quadraphonic receiver that i haven't hooked up yet so i've been kind of wanting to experiment with it but i've never seen this in quadraphonic before so i'm keeping it it's really really good and i'll probably uh put mine out for sale uh that my copy that i have at home because i'm trying to keep more than one copy of each record freddie hubbard red clay this is a little bit of a heads up for you guys uh cheap record you can usually get this for 10 bucks and under and it cooks it's a total smoker a phenomenal record uh seriously this is uh these ctis if you see that label right there it's usually really good uh jazz and fusion records for cheap so this red clay like i said you can get it cheap but it is phenomenal really great record <clears throat> and this one's um i've seen this one shown a little bit on youtube uh this is one the black man's burden eric burden uh and war but just it's just kind of, it's weird to me that this wasn't, like, offensive. Um, the black man's burden, it's just weird. But um, this is a really, really great record. I got to say, you know, Eric Burden, some some of his uh, 
some of his stuff is a little cheeky and weird, but like the, this, he has a great discography. He's got some really great stuff. And this is one of my favorites and I've had a hard time tracking it down. So really great. Um, and then this last one, I th actually thought I had a copy of this. I must have sold it when I opened the shop. It's B.B. King Lucille on Blues Way. Um, great record. Love it. Been wanting it. I love the, uh, the opening title track, Lucille. <coughs> Excuse me. If you haven't heard that, he talks about how um, he sa saved Lucille's life and Lucille saved his life. Um, like he was in a car accident and Lucille uh, held the car up off of him the car rolled or something and then how he ran to a burning building and almost died trying to save Lucille uh, in a club so pretty cool stuff but I love that opening track so these are just some notable ones that I pulled out there's some really great stuff in there uh, but uh, this is some notable ones that I pulled out that I'm going to be putting up for sale in the shop now little ground rules I've, I've said this in other videos um, this stuff that's going that, that I have from now on everything else I'm keeping but from now on this stuff is going to be available in the shop on Saturday at 10 a.m. I'm dropping it all Saturday 10 a.m. so this is some notable stuff there's some other stuff in there no holds don't ask me to ship it please don't ask me to ship it I love you guys and I hate saying no please don't ask me I like to keep it available for the regulars that are here at the shop uh, the people that walk in off the street and they can hunt and they can dig Finding records online is all well and good, and we can, we all do it. It's great, but there's just something else about walking into a record store and getting your hands dirty and digging through and finding a record that you've always wanted, and it's right there in your hands. That's something I firmly believe in, and I absolutely love it, and it's why I open a record store, so that's why I have this rule. Hope you guys respect it. If not, whatever. This is uh, Bob Dylan's Greatest Hits. You may think, oh, Big Whoop, but yeah, this is uh, In the Shrink Mint Pristine with the sticker that says giant poster and close. And I know what you're saying. You're saying, Dylan, 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 you fool. It never has the poster in there. What is this? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's the poster like that one up there. Never see it. Never see the poster in here uh, because the cooler the poster, the more you never see it because people put it on the wall. Great, so that one will be going up. I actually have two of these with posters, both with posters. So, um, you know, it's not a killer album. You know, you can usually get it for nothing, but with the poster, it's kind of tough fun. Uh, Ferris Sanders Karma. Look at that impulse label. This is killer. Phenomenal record. I listened to this the other day. It really smokes, really cooks. Uh, Herbie Hick, Hancock 610. This one's a little bit out there, a little bit crazy. I love it, but that's also a quadraphonic. If this one sticks around for more than a couple days, I'm taking it home with Daddy. Uh, Lonnie Liston Smith, The Refle Reflections of Golden Dawn. Uh, this is a really, really funky, really great record. Lonnie Liston Smith is not to be trifled with. Look at him. He goes hard. And Peebles, straight from the heart. Uh, this is one, doesn't look like a whole lot, but it's, it's, it's worth some coin. It's pretty sweet. It's in the shrink. It's great shape. This is uh, Red Hughes, Relight My Fire. Um... Opens up. I listened to this the other day. Hoo-wee. Funky and it's good. Uh, Light My Fire is the opening track, The Doors tune, and she covers it. And it's just soul and it's nasty. And I like it. Uh, Gabor Zabo Live uh, with Charles Lloyd. Really great guitar work in here. <sighs> Killer. Uh, that electric guitar stuff. Zabo really knows how to how to do it. Uh, Shep and the Limelights. Um... Pretty cool. I mean, it's got a bunch of writing on the back. This one's kind of in rough shape, but it's a little bit of a rarity. It'll be going out. Uh, Blue Magic, just a cool record. Not too super expensive, but funky, cool record. Uh, Irene Reed, cool record. Uh, Black Ivory, Wanda Robinson. That's another really cool one on Perception. Uh, that, that label, Perception, has a pretty good repertoire. Great stuff on that label. Um, another Sabo record, Sorcerer. Great stuff. I love I love some guitar work. Oh my gosh, why didn't I show this one earlier? John Coltrane, a Love Supreme. First pressing. First US press. Beautiful. Hold on, let me show you this label. Don't 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 even believe this when you see it. Look at that. Splat out. Killer label. Look at the spine. This thing's in killer shape. Unbelievable. I pulled this out. I had a moment. I just had a moment.
Uh, Fela Africa 70, this is uh, uh, Music of Fela Volume 2. I've got Volume 1 and 2 in my collection because I think it's a must-have. Killer Afrobeat stuff, if you're a drummer, listen to this. Um, Black and Beautiful, Soul and Madness. This is kind of an uh, interesting record. I listened to it the other day in the shop and people were looking at me kind of funny. But it's, uh, it's, a, it's a rarity. I mean, look at that. It's a private press deal. It's on Jihad Records. Uh, Alex Coltrane with Strings, uh, World Galaxy. Alex Coltrane stuff's super hard to find, but I've been really lucky with it lately. That's a really clean one. Uh, Universal Consciousness, uh, Alex Coltrane, killer stuff. Uh, Cosmic Music, John Coltrane. Uh, this one's really sweet. John and Alice Coltrane. I love this record. It's a little bit out there. It's some free jazz. I have one in my collection. This one, you're going to laugh at me. This is a little pro tip for you guys. For years and years and years and years and years, I slept on this record, and I did not... I, I don't know how many times I probably had it and didn't even know, because Cool and the Gang, who cares? They're cheap. You can find Cool and the Gang in dollar bins all the time. $3 tops. Not this record. This is like an $80 record. Um, this is a, this is the rare Cool and the Gang record, and it's actually a really good record, too. So if you're out digging and you see Cool and the Gang, you're like, oh, Cool and the Gang, I see that all the time. It's cheap. It's nothing. It's not. Cool and the Gang, hey, let's, let's face it. Cool and the Gang is great. It, it puts you in a good mood. It's good stuff. But uh, this one, it's worth some money if you're into the if you're in the game, you know. Um, this one, Sweet Sweetbacks, the Bad A song. This is a killer funk record. I absolutely love it. I've got one in my collection, and I will never let it go unless you want to buy it, which I probably was. Uh, this is another Miles Davis, the Brew, Quadraphonic Pressing, it's killer stuff. This one, another. This, this is the last one I'm going to kind of pull out and show. The Jungle Fever. Um, phenomenal Chaka Chas, I guess you'd call it, but this is a really good, really funky record with some great rhythm on it. Um, highly recommend this one. This one's going out for sale. Usually these aren't too terribly expensive. It's not like a super rare psych or funk thing that's going to cost you a thousand dollars. This is a uh, for some, some somewhat a cheapy. So this one will be going out. I've got one of these in my collection, a must have. So all this stuff is going out Saturday, this coming Saturday. 10 a.m. Be here. Get it. And also, thank you guys for watching this video. Here is the flip video of just kind of some of the rest of the stuff that I've got. Um, it's, you know, how I do, guys. It's, it's some junk in there, a little bit, but for the most part, some pretty strong stuff. So, um, this is the rest of the stuff that's in there. Uh, stuff that you guys have seen, probably uh, nothing too crazy to write home about, but those are some highlights I want to show you. So, check out the rest of the stuff. Curtis Mayfield. Ice Man Van. Uh, Rufus Harley is really, really cool. Bagpipe Blues. That's a really cool record. It's not actually that expensive. Escorts. Oh, Born Again. Oh, yeah. Bags and Train. This is killer. Marvin Gaye, let's get it on. What's the distinction? Freddie Hubbard. That's some killer stuff. Freddie Hubbard. Abbey Road. So this guy had some, like, pretty, pretty killer taste. Persuasions. Grover Washington. Lotus Redding. This is a great record, too. Um, it's another cool in the gang. Richard Pryor. That's one I don't really see that often. Commodores. Oh, there's Cannibal Adderley. Where you been? George Benson. Oh, there's uh, Hendrix. War. Commodores. There's a bunch of... Well, not a bunch. There's a couple of these super flies in there. Both have the flap. Um, so, some cool stuff. Black Moses. That's a great one. Santa Washington. We'll move over here. Stylistics. This is a uh, Herbie Hancock made in Voyage. Um, Sly and the Family Stone. Dr. John Grigri. Axis Boys Love. Some cool stuff. These There's some Malcolm X records in here. These are actually pretty rare. It's some speeches. That's got Black Bill of Rights. Richie Havens. Steel Bill. BB King. So some pretty. Hey, sing along, Bert and Ernie. Can't, can't beat that. This is the good, the bad, and the ugly, guys. It's all of it. Beatles White Album original with the serial number on there. Friends of Distinction, Friends of Distinction. Oh yeah, I forgot about that one. Horse Silver. So Isaac Hayes. Escorts. Oh, this is a really, really good Jerry Butler record. I know a lot of his early stuff, people don't love it and don't go for a lot of money. This is a great record, Spice of Life. Bobby Humphrey, great stuff. Isaac Hayes, great stuff. Johnny Taylor. 
also Stanley Turn team. This is presenting Isaac Hayes. That's why you don't really see that often. Zodiac, Marvin Gaye. This one's a really great Freddie Hubbard record. This one's a little bit out there, a little bit more free jazz. James Brown Hell, this is one. I think I've got like four copies of this in the shop right now. I don't know if people just don't know what it is. This is a really great funky record. Sex Machine, Cold Sweat, Al Green. There's another Superfly. Soulful Strut, Ellington, Jerry Butler, Marvin Gaye. Come on, guys. Supreme, and the cool in the game. Some Stevie Wonder. Some good stuff. Easley Brothers. More Isaac Hayes. I'm telling you what, guys. This I'm t this is uh, like a $10 or $12 record. Hot Butter Soul. This is one of my favorite albums of all time. Do not go another day without listening to this if you haven't. Black Moses, Killer, Nina Simone, Aretha Franklin. My gosh. The hits just keep coming. And as if you're noticing, uh, he had a lot of doubles, <laughs> which is great. Herbie Hancock, Mandrill. Ashford Simpson, Benny King, Dylan, Curtis Live, Danley Tarantine, Killer Stuff, Billy Preston. This is Sonny Rollins. Must have missed that one the first time. That's not a big one. Usually Sonny Rollins is on RCA. It doesn't go for a lot of money, but that doesn't mean it's not good. Oh, this is a killer record. Be King Live, Cook County Jail. A group called Smith. BT Express. That's a great one. Thriller, y'all know that. Crusaders. Cannibal Adderley, Al Green. Uh, Rashawn Roland Kirk, great stuff. This is a uh, UK Quadraphonic Sly and the Family Stone, Persuasions, BT Express. This is a really great one. It's called Music from Lil Brown. It's like a funk album, but obviously copying music from Big Pink, The Impressions, Blackbirds. It's really great stuff. Uh, moving on over to this one. Young yeah, Gifted, Aretha Franklin, Impressions, just kind of blowing through these. This one's a really rare one, worth a lot of money, but this one's kind of in really rough shape, so not worth a whole lot. <laughs> but that's the way it is. Some of the stuff is Max Roach. Some of the stuff um, is in, like, mint, pristine shape, and some of them is a little beat, so that's just kind of how it is. You take the deal with the bad. A lot of quadraphonic stuff. Elmore James, that one's actually still sealed. Cannonball Adderley, Cannonball Adderley, Aretha Franklin, Herbie Mann, Hey Jude Wilson Pickett, that's a great one. Jimmy Smith, some some killer stuff in here. Look at that, look at that young Aretha. She's just young and full of wonderment. Uh, this is a really cool one, the main ingredient, Euphrates River. Persuasions, Solomon and Burke, phenomenal. This is a freaking killer record. Gil's got her on and Brian Jackson. I got that one in my collection. Hank Crawford, Quincy Jones, Miles Davis. Folks, Nina, Nina Simone, Nina Simone, Freddie Hubbard, uh, Straight Fire. Can't get enough, man. Milestones, Stanley Turrentine, Gross Cover, yes. Great music within. Another Malcolm X record, kind of rare. Um, so, yeah, some really great stuff. Freddie Hubbard, Straight Fire, again. Emancipation of Humus, I like Ain't it funky? Yes, it is. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, excited for to drop this stuff on Saturday. I better get started pricing it up. Uh, on, a, on another note, just just unleashed my 7,000 subscriber contest. Thank you guys so much. I've already got a bunch of entries. I've been really enjoying watching those. Uh, if you want, enter, enter it in, win some free records. Thank you guys for watching this, and we'll see you next time.